Hello, so we're back with the match review of our game today where it's finished Sunderland nil, Bristol City nil. Um, a much improved performance from last weekend and to be fair it had to be. There had to be some kind of reaction and some kind of performance from, from last week's shambolic you know, 5-1 defeat against Blackburn. Um, changes were made today, so we started off with Patterson in goal where Trey Hume, Dan Bollard, Luke O'Neill, Leo Hielder, um, great to see Jack Clark back in the site today along with Dan Neil, Pierre Ekwar, Chris Rigg, Adil Oshish and Job playing in that forward role. Um, and to be fair, the first 25 minutes half an hour, we looked decent. But, like we've been seeing all season, the lack of quality and the lack of being clinical in the final third kind of showed again today. Um, we could have been three or four by half-time. We had some great chances in the first half. Um, we were playing some good football, actually, um, against a, what I thought was a very poor Bristol City side. It looked as though they turned up and just began through the motions. Didn't really offer anything apart from a couple of half chances, which is even more frustrating why we didn't win today. Um, like I say, we had some great chances in that first half. Clark had a couple of chances. Job, uh, she hit the bar. And on all these, we should be putting away. And if we had got one of them in the uh, in the early part of the game, I think we'd have won the game quite comfortably because, like I said, Bristol City were were poor, didn't really offer much at all. But um, Jack Clark back in the side of the year looked very very good. It looked like he'd never been away. Um, yes, a few rusty touches, but he's what we've been missing. You know, he was getting on the ball down left hand side, linking up quite well with our at times. Um, had a couple of chances, a couple of shots, and should probably should have and could have, couldn't should have scored. Um, but it was great to see him back on the side. Chris Rigg also, you know, putting his about full of energy, closing down. Um, Ekwa was playing as we had a massive point to prove today. He was all over the pitch, and I thought he had a very very good good game today. Um, he was getting stuck in, um, looked composed on the ball, um, and like I say, he had a good first half along with Dan Neil. And like we didn't really, we weren't troubled at the back, so. But uh, but O'Neill and and Ballard and especially Hume as well had a good game, solid at the back. Leo Helder, I'm still not convinced. He still looks suspect. Give the ball away far too many times in that first half. Um, but we went in at half time nil nil. Second half, they made a change at half time. Um, I think they had an injury in one of the full backs, so they made a change. Um, and the second half kind of started off pretty much the same way as the first half ended. It was mainly us dominating the game, um, creating chances. Um, Bradley Dak came on in 60 minutes and went off for Aushish. Aushish, I thought, had a decent game. He's, he's one of those players who's he can be brilliant, but he can also give the ball away at the drop of a hat. He's a young lad, and he showed that today. Brilliant one minute, then give a slotty pass the way in the next. But all in all, I thought he had a decent game. Um, but Bradley Dak came on, and within you know five or six minutes, he should have scored. It was a cross game across the box, and he, he's he's free at the back post, time to pick his spot, and he dived in. I think it hit the bar, and hit the goalkeeper, or hit the goalkeeper, and hit the bar. One or two was other end of the ground, but he should have scored. Um, another another big big chance missed, and again, like I've been saying all season, the lack of a proven striker and lack of quality in that final third has killed us. Um, uh, Roberts came on and it was great to see Aji Alicia came on as well in the 66 minute um, for Leo Helder and straight away when Alicia came on we looked even better again he was linking up well with Jack Clark I just hope he can stay fit now and get a run again till the end of the season um, and get him prepped and ready for next season because he looked he looked great when he came on strong he looked fit um, getting stuck in winning the ball and linking up well with Jack Clark and getting forward which is what we've missed Um Roberts came on as well and looked looked better than he did last week. Like I said, he's not fit. You could see that last week when he started. Came off the bench and showed some great touches today. Got on the ball a bit more. Didn't give it away as much. And um, I think he might he might have been the one who created the chance for Bradley Duck. Um, but all in all, you know, it's it's a frustrating performance. It's a nil nil draw, but it's a clean sheet. You know, after after last week, you'd have probably took that. Just a shame we couldn't go on and nick it, but. Still a frustrating performance, you know, not a brilliant performance, but we could have easily won five or six now today. Uh, man of the match for me, I thought Jack Clark was tremendous today. Um, you, you would see why we've missed him. We're a different, a different team when he's in the side. 
Um, we'll look a lot more dynamic. We we'll, we'll offer a lot more threat going forward. But I also thought Pierre Egua had a great game with the in midfield, and Trey Hume as well. Even though he got booked, I thought Trey Hume had a very very good game. But credit as well to O Nine and Ballard. Solid at the back, didn't give anything away. Um, but like I say, a, a very very poor Bristol City fan, Bristol City side who offered very little. So all in all. We should have won the game, we didn't, but it's a point, it's a clean sheet, it stops that rot and it's you know kind of nips that shocking performance away. Um a shocking performance against Blackburn in the boards last week. We've got Tuesday night to look forward to now, we've got Leeds away, which you know is not gonna be an easy game whatsoever. I'm not looking forward to that at all. Unlike Bristol City who came here with nothing to play for, Leeds are still gone for promotion. You know, I think they got beat today, which they'll be hurting, they'll be smarting and, and want to Bounce back from that as well on Tuesday night. So a very, very difficult game in store. But we know what Sunderland's like. Them type of games are the ones where we're going to wear and surprise people and do well. So we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. But I'll be doing a match um, preview of that probably tomorrow or Monday for that Leeds game on Tuesday. But the competition for them two, or for one of them two shirts behind, um, it's, it's a no-goal start. So anybody who's gone with low goals, um, you're in with a good shout depending on how the Leeds game goes of course because that could be any score um, if they get an early goal it could be any score you like So, but it's a nil-nil draw it's a nil-nil start no goals in the first game two games to go let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below who was your man of the match today um, how do you think we played You know, does that kind of atone for last week's performance for me not really I, you know would you have took a point after that 5-1 defeat last week, I predicted us to get beat, but it's here to draw. Let us know your th thoughts on the comments below. Please like, share and subscribe if you don't mind. Um, greatly appreciate Watch over the match preview for the Leeds game. But until the next time, thanks for watching. Take it easy, stay safe and speak soon. And Bristol City fans, have a safe trip home. It's all right.